Hi everybody, welcome to Wisecon Driving and this is the first view, official first view of the Proton X50 at the Tanjung Malim plant preview. Okay, just a very quick number on the wheelbase, yeah. Uh, this one has got 2600 mm wheelbase compared to the 2670 mm wheelbase of the X70. So basically the wheelbase, which is the space between the front and rear wheels, is 70 mm shorter. Overall width, overall length of this X50 is 4330 mm and that is compared to the 4519 mm of the X70. So it's a little bit a little bit under 200 mm shorter. That's about uh, maybe 7 inches or something like that or 8 inches. Yeah. A little bit under 8 inches shorter and in terms of width it is 30 mm is about an inch narrower but the overall width of the uh, X50 is 1800 compared to 1831 in terms of height it is also about 90 mm which is close to almost three and a half inches shorter than the X70 now from a presentation earlier there are four variants available and three of them are with the 1.5 liter turbocharged engine uh, which is uh, developing I think it's 150 PS at, and 226 Newton meters of torque and uh, these are MPI engines or multi-point injection engines turbocharged no doubt and Transmission is to the front wheels only using a 7-speed DCT. However, the top of the range, the flagship of the range, is also another 1.5 litre, but it is turbocharged and direct injection uh, engine, delivering 177 PS and 255 newton meters of torque. And drive is also to the front wheels with a 7-speed DCT. Of course, these figures have to be officially um, confirmed by Proton because these are numbers we've got from the internet based on other models in the Geely group that have such a horsepower readings. Uh, for the top of the range uh, 1.5 TD engine, the reputed 0 to 100 time is 7.9 seconds and that, guys, is actually a little bit faster than a Civic Turbo. Yeah, the Civic Turbo 1.5 has a 0 to 100 time of 8.2 seconds and this one is claimed at 7.9 seconds. So this is one awesome machine. Okay, along the front you get a continuation of the X70 theme the infinite weave front grille and of course this one carries the new proton logo now headlights are led together with the drls and they look very very nice and good down here you have uh, the front mask looks very aggressive with uh, the bottom intake there looks like there is a intercooler down there so this 1.5 engine, I think this version is the highest spec and this setup looks pretty nice and there is a red outline in the grill and this looks very much like the early tease, teaser pictures that we have seen. Yeah, truly this car has been teased for about a year and well, it's not disappointing and everything is coming out as we expected. Okay, quick look at the wheels. You have a ventilated front rotors and a single floating caliper and 18 inch wheels. Tire size, as shown here, is 21555R18V. So these are high spec tires and should give very good performance. The front suspension looks like it is. Uh, McPherson struts, yes, they are McPherson struts. You can, you may not be able to see it, but I can. Okay, here's con, here's confirmation that this is the turbo GDI. GDI means uh, direct injection, yeah. And uh, then you have the side cladding. That is the side view. A closer look. You have good doors, and uh, then 
at the back you have a smaller this roto and a single floating caliper and uh, I have taken a quick look before and this is a torsion beam and the torsion beam starts from the inside and trails to the back so there is some amount of flex yeah you can see the coil springs and so there will be a little bit of flex in the torsion beam and moving to the back you see the very distinct proton emblem that goes across the back and the LED rear lights another nice feature is the twin pipes dual pipes actually it's quad pipes on both sides so it's two pipes each side making a total of four and this is going to be quite good having a quick look at the inside you can see here the dashboard is uh there's two tone for this car is is kind of like brown and it's leather bound and then you have plastic with some finishing there and harder plastic at the bottom so it's soft hard hard and this one is textured here is the gear stick and you can see down there and of course it's an automatic so it's a seven speed dct and you have some controls down there and the first one is okay that's the eco button sport button so it must be the drive mode then you have uh, this looks like hill descent control but i'm not sure and this one looks like it is 360 camera uh, this must be the parking there are two parking it's this one could be yeah we don't know yet but this car could perhaps park itself but we are not sure here's another p and that's i think those are the parking sensors uh here's another p lots of p here and this is the handbrake and of course this one must be the auto uh engine uh start stop yeah on off for the engine and of course that's the button to disable now elsewhere we take a quick look at the steering and this is a quite a small steering it looks like it's about 12 or 12 and a half or even 13 inches and it's flat bottom a quick look at the seats the driver's seat looks pretty good uh, with a two tone and a removable headrest and it's textured to give you good support so this is a sort of a semi bucket now the uh, driver side I think is electrical and for the passenger side it is uh, mechanical here's another look from the driver's side and you can see here you have uh, this one looks like it is yeah uh, adjusting the dim dimming of the instrument panel you have traction control and you also have uh, this one looks like it's yeah adjustment of the headlight in case you load up the car you want to adjust the headlights so that you get uh, the headlights pointing in the right direction the instrument panel here looks like it's um, digital and does anybody have the switch do you know the switch is on let's have a look okay nothing is happening you don't see anything we don't see that now well well maybe we'll see that later this is the headset and it also has the proton and tanks can mean you have your temperature is 29 degrees and it's cloudy uh, or you can sign in here log in manually and Tongji Malim is where we are this is the radio and key is not detected so we cannot see see what is the instrument panel looking like here is the aircon which Proton is so proud of the designer told us about this aircon louvre is different and here is the center louvers for the driver and passenger and of course this uh, motif for the center console is a continuation of of the x70 following the same uh, design spirit and there you have little min say hi, hi. and we will move on to the back thanks min yes the here are the electrical controls for the seat and we will move to the back all right so at the back you have 
uh, three headrests and so this is actually a five seater but to be honest it's more comfortable to just have four and we are looking at the floor yeah the floor is quite flat and yes we have also aircon uh, louvers at the back and two USB ports I'm of average height and I'm sitting here and looking down here you have six inches of uh, height move over to the other side Michael Hi there. okay there's high proton but anyway I'm sitting here and there's plenty of room for me and yes there's a panoramic sunroof all right so looking at the center you get uh, you can get this uh, center divider open and uh, the seat yes the seat also splits and folds 60 40 yep let's see how it folds okay it folds to like this not exactly flat but you can still live with it can you see me Okay, so up here there's something that's very good. There's a little gap, a little pothole for you to look out, so you don't feel so claustrophobic. Okay, uh, for the next step, we are going to get our ultimate test. This is called the MC test, and this is Michael Chin. Say hi, Michael. Okay, Michael is here, and he is seated in the seat. Just as a reminder, Michael is six foot six, and we look at his head area. Oh, your hair is just brushing the roof, right? Yeah. Okay, and uh, this is the seat that Kenmin just vacated and it looks like it's in the middle uh, uh, adjustment for normal, yeah? Because that's about in the middle of it. And Michael's knee is just, just clearing the concave rear part of the seat and his legs are down there. Okay, so six foot six can just barely get into the car. So if you're anything less than six foot six, yes, you can see in the car. Thanks, Michael. Right, guys, this is the 177 horsepower, 255 newton meter, 1.5 liter turbocharged and direct injection engine. And uh, it is three cylinder. You can't see much because there's an engine cover and don't be mistaken, this one is just for the charger down there to keep the battery charged up. And one thing I'll say for Proton, uh, they have done a very good job. You can't see the engine because there's a lot of nice engineering and cladding here. And mind you, this costs money. This costs money and so therefore, you will have probably have to pay a premium price for this. But I think it will be worth it because uh, they have done a lot of work here and so this is the vehicle that is going to turn the B segment market upside down. It will also set new standards for all of us. So let's wait and see how it goes. That's the overview of the Proton X50 and this happens to be the top of the range GDI variant so all we have to do now is wait for the price announcement but anyway just for your information bookings are available from tomorrow onwards at all uh, Proton outlets so that will be a very good Malaysia Day present for everybody hi guys we're still at the Proton Sports Complex at Tanjung Malim plant and up to now uh, they have not given us the prices and I've just heard that they are not going to release the prices today despite the fact that the cars are going to be uh, on order. That means they're open for order taking tomorrow. So I don't know how they're going to do it without the price, but I suppose it will be based on the estimated price. So we are not going to get any prices. So we will say bye-bye until we get any more news on the pricing. So thanks for being with us and see you.